Paris TV speaking to Champions City manager Robbie Simpson after a 3-1 win over Weymouth today in National League South. Robbie, what do you make of that one today? Really pleased. I thought we were excellent first half. Um, the players, obviously there's a bit of a strong wind today um, down or towards that far corner down there and you have to play the conditions and we, the warm-up we knew that it was strong and we just mentioned before we came out about how to play with the wind and how to play against the wind because you don't know which way you're going to kick off um, and we played the conditions really well really well you know we were on the front foot we pressed high up the pitch good energy about us and then good quality when we won it back and two excellent finishes from Tom Com really good composure from him and they had their moments, they had their moments, but when you play on the front foot like that, you're always open to being a bit fragile on the counter-attack maybe. So they had their moments in the first half and I thought we should have scored more. Um, and it could have been two all at half time. Um, for all our dominance in that first half, it could well have been two all at half time. And the half time team talk, I said that, and the game wasn't over. It wasn't over. We had to um, try and stifle them um, because they're a fit team. They're a full time team, fit team. We knew that they would go right to the very end. And if, if we gave them that goal, then it would, it would pick their energy levels up again. And I'm really disappointed with the goal they got um, defensively. And there was a few other times where we could have been a bit cuter. You know, we've got an honest bunch of lads there. They're really honest, but sometimes too honest. You know, they try and win the ball rather than just stop their man getting the ball. Little things like that, letting it run through for a goal kick or to other yeah, it's And that's what they'll learn as they get older and more experienced. Um, they'll learn that. But we withstood everything really some people might say we rode our luck but the way we defended you make your own luck you get your body in between the ball and the goal and it hits you and then if you're on the front foot and first to react to that loose ball that isn't riding your luck that is that is good defending and um, I'm so pleased we finally got one on the break because we should have had two or three before the one we got on the break and and I could um, sit down and breathe a sigh of relief and important for Tom Blackwell because he's not had an easy start to the season he had that he got a black eye against Chippenham when we only played 25 minutes down there and then you subbed him off quite early in the second half on Tuesday so really good for him for his confidence to get a couple of really good goals today. Yeah, Tom, Tom's an important player for us. You know, his pace and movement and finishing ability gives us something different, something other players haven't got. So he'll be suited to, to some games and not suited to others. And it, it just was on Tuesday, it just wasn't, wasn't going for him. Um, and it's, it's good that we've got squad depth to be able to change it. And today we started off with him in a, in a different position that he's probably ever played. He played it at Hartford away in pre-season and I liked what I saw um, and I thought he did very well today. He kind of had a new lease of life and energy about him and I think that might have been the position or um, it might just be because he was feeling better today and the game suited him. So really pleased for him to get those two goals. And then uh, Weymouth got back into it in the second half and they were sort of the dominant side in that second half. Looked more likely to get the second goal then you changed, brought Cameron James, James off and changed to four at the back and Callum Jones as well with extra energy up front really works in our favour. The last 25 minutes was all lost really. Yeah, do you know what? I think the change of shape Tuesday won us the game and the change of shape today won us the game. Um, and that's all credit to the players. You know, the detail that we're giving them in both those shapes um, that we switch to and from is is tricky. And it's tricky mid-game to switch your mindset to your new position. And all credit to them for taking it on board. And it was seamless, both games, both Tuesday and today, it was a seamless transition from one shape to the other. And um, and that has, that has won us both games, really. Yeah, and uh, we've got a lot of strength and de depth on the bench. I mean, Louis Dunn was on there, I mean, Reggie Gregory, Jacob Marsden got on the bench so far, yeah. Guy Norton as well was, was back. Um, so it's, we've got to use the squad because we've got quite a few games coming up now, haven't we? Loads of games coming up, still early on in the season. Everybody's part of it. Trust me, everybody is absolutely part of it. I love every one of them, whether they're playing or not. And the players that aren't playing are almost more important than the players playing because they need to push them to be better and when they come on they need to come onto the pitch ready to go and, and they are they're so supportive like Jacob's obviously um, not, on, not on the bench at the minute but his, his support to OVA is incredible such a good character to have around the place and that's important for, for any team that is wanting to have success you have to have unselfish players everybody has to be unselfish and the willingness to 
give your players that extra energy, that extra lift, extra detail sometimes, even when you're not playing, is, is a trait that I want. And all of those players have got it, and I can't thank them enough. And a really nice moment for Callum Jones after he injured the whole of last season to get his first goal for the club. Great finish, slamming it in the top corner. Yeah. How was it? And, and satisfying was that to see from after his injury troubles? Oh, it was amazing. You know, he's a great kid, worked his absolute socks off every time he steps onto the field. Sometimes I have to tell him not to work as hard as he does because that sometimes get in, gets him out of position or doesn't have the energy when we win it back. But I said to him, did you just hit it as hard as you could? And he said, yeah. So, <laughs> so yeah, so pleased for him. You know, you know, a year out is tough. It's tough watching your team year out, especially with last season's struggles to score goals. It must have been horrible for him. Um, and I'm really pleased for him. And he's only going to get better. And we've got that rearranged game with Chippenham. Thankfully, Pablo Martinez looks like he's on the yeah. road to recovery now. So we've got to go down there on a, on a Tuesday night. Um, but obviously, the understandable reason. So uh, what do you uh, make uh, going ahead and going forward into that game? It'll be a tough game. You know, I don't know how. I don't know any other results today, but it'll be a it'll be a really tough game. They're a good team, especially at home. Um, slope, so different different style. Whether you play up the slope or down the slope, and we're going to have to be ready to go. I know we've we've got a good squad for a reason, um, and and these are the reasons. <laughs> when you've got two games, especially a, a long trip midweek, it's it's going to be tough on everybody's bodies after today because they put a lot in. Um, but we're going to be ready. Okay, really well done today, Simo, and uh, good luck on Tuesday. Thank you. Cheers.